edobozi ya president biti ero mukutu gwali ya bibeti 19 amacha gali ero zibadde sawa 10 nemu ne kitundu kufunya mawulire okuva mu dwaliro e Nairobi nga dibita gavana wa Uganda Emmanuel Mutebire Emmanuel Mutebire abadde gavana wa Bank of Uganda iranga abadde ya kadamu okulonde bwa emyaka etano nga gavana wa Uganda naye sinzira ku nsonde nyex governor yali yatwali wa mtwali le Nairobi nga munana January asokolo kufuna obujjanja byogo bwadde obwali bumbala endirizi naye kumachaga lero governor asisa omuko kusenga tambi kano uwire ko kunsonga se masonga governor wa badomu tajja wa amani The governor told the appointment committee today morning that his focus will among others be on ensuring that wealth from the recently discovered oil resource is well managed. He told reporters at parliament that he will not sit back as revenue from oil is being stolen by a few individuals. He offered to throw in the towel if oil money is embezzled. I hate corruption. I hate corruption. I hate corruption. I will not I will not accept oil money to be misused. I resign. Look for another gov governor if you want to mis misuse the oil money. They know me. They know I don't tell lies. They know I don't fear telling you to your face that you are ugly. So, I will say it as it is. That's Bachiga. The Bachiga are known for that. They say it as it is. To hell with you. The oil money must be spent on infrastructure and on agriculture it should not be spent on consumption we should use this money in such a way that the spending is creating assets which can be used in the future as the oil resources get dep depleted Besides oil, Mutebide also promised to work with other government agencies to bolster the country's economy th through supporting sound monetary policies and strategies. I pledge to strengthen the economy. I pledge to uh, make sure the financial sector is strong, I, stronger and stronger, about 10% per growth per annum, real GDP growth per annum, 10%. Mutebide has been with the central bank for over 10 years as governor and is more credited for improving the local banking regulatory regime. However, still faced with an increasing depreciating shilling and a skyrocket high interest rates in the country today, it remains to be seen how he will fare this time round.